So, that's nice. We didn't lose too much. We didn't lose much at all. Good deal. Stay sharp. I'm yeah, lucky that way. Last hey, the only problem with using the sniper rifle, even though it's much more awesome in this game, is it runs out of ammo. There just we go. Sniper pistol. Yeah. It's just about as good. Um... Oh, something's shooting at me. Uh, sorry, I'm just moving my stuff around real fast. You don't have the, the Phalanx pistol in Mass Effect 2, do you? Like, I think it, it may be later, but I use the Carnifex all the time. I know that no, the, the Phalanx is a DLC pistol. Oh, no, I don't which have they, it. Which they integrated into the, you know, vanilla for Mass Effect 3, but it's... The only it's, DLC it's like, I have is the one that came with Server's Network. Oh, okay. <sighs> It's like it's has... awesome. It's like a, uh, it, it, it's like a Carnifex with more ammo. Oh, that's nice. And it's got a little laser pointer. Mm. They put a super gun oh. in DLC. Isn't <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the uh, shotgun that comes with the Cerberus because I hate all the freaking every other shotgun I hate, but that one I actually like. The plasma <clears throat> get plasma is pretty good. Well, that's in this. That's in this. Is that one in this game? <laughs> DLC. No, uh, yeah, that's another DLC. It's like a weapon and armor pack or something. Yeah. Mm. Which is pretty cheap, but it's got some really, it's got some really awesome like pistol armor, which is awesome for vanguards because oh. it gives you, it gives uh, you like s some weapon boost, but it gives you like a lot of shield and melee boost. Okay, that would be nice. Ah, more frickin' Mercs. Yeah, that's why I didn't actually... Um, when you pre-ordered it, it gave you, like, a ton of the, um, N7 weapons, which are, like, really awesome weapons. And I never used any of them because I was afraid they'd be overpowered. And I didn't want to use an overpowered weapon. Oh, they died. Why did they die? bothered to pre-order it, then by all means, go ahead and use your swag, but... Yeah. You know, if you weren't going to pre-order, then... Not gonna make you pre-order. Sucks to be you. You know, you'd think... You'd think that they would make a lot of, like, money reselling um, pre-order DLC. Can like... Can trade in EA games? Uh... I'm... Like, what, on Origin? Yeah. Can you trade items? I've never... No, I doubt it. I've, ne I've I never... I've never... So I'm just killing stuff by myself right now because my moron squad mates died at the same time. They probably got hit, hit by a rocket. And I'm out of sniper ammo. And this ha, is what morons! Rockets yeah. hurt them. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I'm. As opposed to me, who can do that? I'm kind of annoyed with the. Uh, As fact, you just did. With the ammo. In this you game. run out of ammo so much. Especially, it's really bad on the specialized weapons. Like on the on this like you know the situational guns like the sniper rifle and the shotgun. Yeah. I mean, what's really bad is I can't you know buy a used rifle or something. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Little. It's just such a ridiculous hand way. No, we 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 advanced our technology so that by we bringing run out of ammo. Yeah, that that's irritating. Well, you know, it's really weird. It's like the idea was that I think in the codex. Was that it was supposed to increase increase like damage per second, like when fighting Geth or whatever. It but does. really, it yeah I know it's like if that really, if that were to actually apply, that would only work on weapons like your rifle, which is like you know automatic or whatever. That does nothing for you if you've got a shotgun or a sniper rifle where you yeah. have to like where it cools down after every shot anyway. Not difficult. Well, and then, of course, it doesn't explain why you wouldn't want to keep, you know, low-power weapons with the old design. Yeah. Say, your pistol, you don't care if, if it runs out. Except the card effects is amazing. Anyways, yeah, this mean, like, conversation is interesting. There, There is no, um... It, it seems like, uh... Why wouldn't they just, like, put do it so that if you run out of thermal clips, then, like, you can keep firing... But then you have to wait for it to cool down. That would be amazing. I wish a, they like, did that. Like a, a thermal clip might be like kind of like a cheat. So yeah. That, but but then but then it's kind of like when you stop and think about it, it's like why would you do that? Because in the first game, if you got some of the if you got the best mods, 
Your gun never had to cool down. Well, you can't do that in this game. But um, I, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, but I'm no. just saying it's like I'm talking about like from a technological standpoint. Yeah. It's like you just made the perfect gun, <laughs> and you yeah. threw it away. But gameplay wise, um, if yeah, they did know, that, but they made the thinking. cooldown take forever. Yeah, Shepard is sitting here thinking, this, "Oh, you know, I used one. to have a gun, didn't cool down, more powerful yeah. than any of these things." Well, it took a long time to kill anything in Mass Effect One. You just had to shoot so many, shoot so much. Well, like I, I, I don't know. Like if you got like you know, uh, that was headshotting people in Mass Effect One with a sniper rifle, which is yeah. actually that's actually pretty satisfying. But um, their head though. Oh, do we do we want to talk about this Krogan here? Yeah, we should probably talk about this Krogan here. So he's tank grown. So he's only seven days old. How can you speak? And he's full grown. There was a scratching sound and he sounds head, cool. And it became Man, that's some tank. He is, uh, yeah, I mean, so th these are the, the Krogan that Judor wants for the army, and what Okir is doing is he is, uh, trying to make like, the all perfect of these, Krogan. All of these, these, these Krogan that he's giving to our army, these are his rejects. Yeah. You know, for, for a yet perfect unknown Krogan. project of his own. Yeah. But I'm not perfect. Of course, you're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. You know, I'm not sure what Judor is thinking, you know. Okay, it's, it's bound to be a good, safe idea to. You're not Saren. You, you can't pull that off. That's the, and that's the funny but thing. He says, like, when you talk to him about Jador... Oh, he's, he's saying it right here. Yeah. You know, it causes uh, anger, but also... The name causes anger and laughter, and it's a it, it's a name that will not be sung, whatever that means. Did he you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It like that. Don't it try. <laughs> oh, Jurat. I'm not what it needs me to be. Little mini Krogan tail. I just wanted to point Trying that out. Escape. Yay! Escape. Escape was so this is a good mission for Morden to be on. I destroyed Saren's cure. I don't think I've. I don't know if I've ever brought Morden here. If not by curing. Because I don't think Garrus is. Gar I don't think Garrus has said like anything. This is I, this is cool. I'll bring like other people. Like sometimes I'll bring. Uh, you know, I think I end up bringing Garrus and Miranda a lot for some reason on this planet. Why would you bring Miranda anywhere? Because she's Miranda's passive is amazing. Skill wise, she's, she's pretty useful. Skill wise, she has no. overlord, overload, and warp. Which means she has a skill to use against um, and also, uh, armor and shield. Health, health for all party members. Is it a health or I thought she had a passive damage boost. Both health and damage. So yeah, she's actually useful. She's useful game life. That sounds pretty good. Can you show us now I actually have the uh, and I actually have the DLC cause. No, it, it, yeah, I got it all pretty much. But it's a uh, it's. Un it is unfortunately DLC. It's a cosmetic outfit that's armor. Instead of whatever the heck she's wearing. Yeah, it's like, thank God. But um, And then Jack's jacket. Yeah, the pro that's a really awesome outfit, the the new one that Jack gets. But the problem with that one is that they're all wearing, like, ridiculous, these stupid-looking glasses that cover the eyes. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it's like about you're, that. You're paying animators to make these amazing eyes that really add to the expression on the faces. And you cover right. them up with these glasses. Ah, There's I'll probably like a mod on the PC version to get rid of those. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Unlikely, actually. I wouldn't think so. It's possible. What? But... Can you? What does does? Uh, well, EA I would like think it'd be part of. Oh, well, I've never heard of. There's not that many mods for Mass Effect. But I was thinking more like um, it's all one model, isn't it? Yes. So you yeah, might be able to, but. No, not at all. They're not Bethesda by any stretch of the imagination. Or, um, I was standing or, down uh, there, Jimmy. Part wow. of that is because their games actually worked the first time, but... Yeah. But you also have Valve, too. Like, there's, like, there's, like, lots of pretty cool mods. Yeah, Steam works. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just I mean, saying... Heck, you've got this Gary's is really the best analogy because Bethesda games need it. Yes. And that's... You, you'd think that they would learn that there are modders that are better than their programmers. Yeah. Like, some of the graphics mods you've seen that there are for Oblivion and Skyrim, there's a mod for Oblivion that makes it look probably better than Skyrim, and run 
faster. There's actually a mod for Skyrim, I think, that does nothing more than just make the game run 40% more efficiently. Yeah. So all the incinerates I'm having on this team is kind of nice. Yeah, is there a mod to make the shadow mapping not stink? Enemy charging! Because last time I looked at Skyrim, the shadow maps were way too low resolution for the hardware they were running on. Everything I is... I, I, if you pay if you pay really close attention to the graphics in Skyrim, like, you'll notice, it's not necessarily just the shadows. Everything is pixelated. Some of it is better concealed. In some places, it's better concealed than others. But when you notice it, you can't unsee it, and everything looks awful. Yeah, and they test something from it. Seriously, your own id should not have it. Just have John come back and look at it, and it would be better. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really sad. We're talking about a completely different game. That's exactly how it works. I've seen spoiler warning. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just... I think it's a testament to this game's combat. It's not... it's not boring to play. Well, this is not such a bad rule. It gets it gets really irritating when you get flanked by Krogan. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of got the endless pit thing going, which is a bit cliche, but... Except that you can't fall into them. It's Wait. just not possible. Yeah. I don't... Seriously? I can't... Nope. Try it. No. Walk to the end. Walk to the sidestep to one of these ramps. This is, nope. The nope. You You're can't. You're joking! I'm pretty sure you... <laughs> push people, you can push, like, people off. Yeah, like, you know, but you, like you, can't, you can't walk off an edge. Oh, that's, that's terrible. What's the point of a room like this if you can't walk off the edge? Oh god, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Crap. You can do it. May as well have friggin' safety rounds. I believe in you. Crap. Your trust was... Oh. <laughs> I was so close, too. I hit him I hit him with a fireball right in the face, and he just kept charging. Frickin' Krogan. You'd think Krogan wouldn't want to charge in a place with no safety railings. Yeah. yeah can, can you, you know I'm going to have to fight all those Krogan, Krogan again? Can walk over the edge, or do they have invisible walls, too? Um, you can definitely push them over the edge. Yes, but will they charge over the edge? I doubt it. They're not full. Do we have to restart the I whole room? Yeah, we do. Dang, we're going to run out of stuff to say about Bethesda by the time we this. <laughs> okay, so, um... One okay, so uh, this does bring up one thing about the combat that does annoy me, and it's it's how easy it is to die in this game. You really have to, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. You really have to rely on cover for everything yeah. you do, and it's really really annoying because like it's funny because in the marketing they talked about how oh you don't have to use cover like you know oh, it, BS. cover will be this optional thing, and you can still get the game fine, but like you, know, you may die more and, unless you're a really awesome vanguard. Yeah, you do. And what it's the like, crap? I mean, like it's, uh, it's, I don't, it annoys me. It's a, it's practically a bare face lie. Should do the because could be playing on casual. Yeah, actually, that, that's you know true. what? Even even on casual, they can drop you pretty quick if you're not careful. Um, at least at lower levels. But um, it, yeah, I mean that's not necessarily a thing with this game though. That's gonna happen pretty much any time you've got regenerating health. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Which they didn't have in Mass Effect One. At least so, not by but, default, like this is. Mass Effect so you 3 had a pretty good, um, compromise that way. And it, you still had to use, you still pretty much, like, were glued to cover most of the time. Well, not if you're and a Vanguard. Not if you're a Vanguard. You can, Vanguards don't use cover in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> not very often. If you know how to, yeah, like, if you're really a Vanguard, you know. Even in Mass Effect 2, you don't always use it. Crap, cover, where's cover? Wish I was standing down with it. I spend, okay, like, most of my time glued to a friggin' wall, and it drives me crazy. It's so bi binary, because you, you're sitting there waiting to... You're basically taking turns, like, you know, taking pot shots at each other, waiting for yeah. somebody who's stupid Oh, I ran to, out of ammo like, for my car. out of that cover sucks. to take a shot, and so... It's just this... Yeah, it, 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 it's a game of peekaboo, and that's all the combat is. It has nothing really to offer beyond that. Like, you know, no new gimmicks, no new interesting ways to do it. Um, I think really, the only... Yeah, and the only gimmick that the game really has going for it to, to break up 
kind of that monotony is the powers. But yeah. even then, it's like, you know, they're all... Like, oh. they're all on cooldowns. You can only use one power, as opposed to Mass Effect 1, you can only use one power at a oh, time. Oh, um, you know, yeah, like, I do not like hotbar powers at all, so... <laughs> I did surprisingly little with biotics in Mass Effect, just because I... I I, I, I like the oh, Mass Effect combat system, just because it's the way I am. I like I like shooters for the most part, and like... the skills, if you know how to use them, they're pretty... Right. They, they work. I, I prefer Mass Effect 1's combat over 2 or 3. It feels a lot... it feels like they reward different styles of play. I like 2. I mean, different three. styles of play. 2 is okay. Um, 1 just... it's slow and clunky sometimes. It's definitely yeah, slow. But... I, I, I completely agree with you here. It is kind of it is kind of slow and clumsy, and like I guess uh, kinesthetically, it's you yeah, know, kinesthetically, it's it's, it's 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 lacking kinesthetically, and it's a little clumsy. But I don't. In my opinion, it's nothing that you know a bit too up. One problem. It's just... <laughs> hey, if, you know, I think I end up bringing Garrison Miranda a lot for some reason on this planet. Why would you bring Miranda anywhere? Because she's Miranda's really... passive is amazing. Skill wise, she's, she's pretty useful. Skill wise, she has no. overlord, overload, and warp, which means she has a skill to use against um, and also uh, armor and, and shield. Health, health, health for all party members. Is it a health or I thought she had a passive damage boost. Both health and damage. So yeah, she's actually useful. She's useful I'll admit, game that Sounds but... pretty good. Can you show us? Now I actually have the. Uh, and I actually have the DLC cuts. No, it, it, yeah, I got it all pretty much. But it's a, it's, un it is unfortunately DLC. It's a cosmetic outfit that's armor instead of whatever the heck she's wearing. Yeah, it's like thank God. But um, and then Jack's jacket. Yeah, the pro that's a really awesome outfit. The the new one that Jack gets. But the problem with that one is that they're all wearing like ridiculous. These stupid-looking glasses that cover the eyes. Yeah, I've heard it's like about you're, that. You're paying animators to make these amazing eyes that really add to the expression on the faces, and you cover right. them up with these glasses. Ah, There's I'll probably like a mod on the PC version to get rid of those. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Unlikely, actually. I wouldn't think so. It's possible. What? But... Can you? What does does? Uh, well, EA, I would like, think it'd be part of. Do? Well, I've never heard of. There's not that many mods for Mass Effect. But I was thinking more like, um, it's all one model, isn't it? Yes. So you yeah, might be able to, but... No, not at all. They're not Bethesda by any stretch of the imagination. Or, um, I was standing or, uh... Jimmy. Part wow. of that is because their games actually worked the first time, but... Yeah. But you also have Valve, too. Like, there's, like, there's, like, lots of pretty cool mods. Yeah, Steam works. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just I mean, saying, heck, you've got this is really the best analogy, because the games need it. Yes, and that's, you, you'd think that they would learn that there are modders that are better than their programmers. Yeah. Like, some of the graphics mods you've seen that there are for Oblivion and Skyrim, there's a mod for Oblivion that makes it look probably better than Skyrim, and run faster. There's actually a mod for Skyrim, I think, that does nothing more than just make the game run 40% more efficiently. Yeah. So all the incinerates I'm having on this team is kind of nice. Yeah, is there a mod to make the shadow mapping not stink? Enemy charging! Because last time I looked at Skyrim, the shadow maps were way too low resolution for the hardware they were running. Everything I is. I, I, if you pay, if you pay really close attention to the graphics in Skyrim, like you'll notice, it's not necessarily just the shadows. Everything is pixelated. Some of it is better concealed. In some places, it's better concealed than others. But when you notice it, you can't unsee it, and everything looks awful. Yeah, and they has to do something from it. Burn through any armor. Seriously, your own id should not. <laughs> well, this is really sad. We're talking about a completely different game. That's exactly how it works. You've seen spoiler warning. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just... I think it's a testament to this game's combat. It's not... it's not boring to play. Well, this is not 
not such a bad room. It gets it gets really irritating when you get flanked by Krogan. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of got the endless pit thing going, which is a bit cliche, but... Except that you can't cool. fall into them. It's Wait. just not possible. Yeah. I, don't, I can't... Nope. Try it. No. Walk to the end. Walk to the sidestep to one of these ramps. This is, nope. The nope. You You're can't. You're joking! I'm pretty sure you... Push people. You can push, like, people off. Yeah, like, you know, but you like you can't you can't walk off an edge. Oh, that's, that's terrible. What's the point of a room like this if you can't walk off the edge? Oh god, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Crap. You can do it. You may as well have friggin' safety rounds. I believe in you. Crap. Your trust was... Oh. <laughs> I was so close, too. I hit him. I hit him with a fireball right in the face, and he just kept charging. Frickin' Krogan. You'd think Krogan wouldn't want to charge in a place with no safety railings. Yeah. yeah can, can you, you know I'm gonna have to fight all those Krogan, Krogan again. Krogan walk over the edge, or do they have invisible walls too? Um, you can definitely push them over the edge. Yes, but will they charge? Over the edge? I doubt it. They're not bulls. Do I have to restart the whole room? Yeah, we do. And we're gonna run out of stuff to say about Bethesda by the time we this. <laughs> okay, so, um... One, okay, so, uh... This does bring up one thing about the combat that does annoy me, and it's it's how easy it is to die in this game. You really have to... <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. You really have to rely on cover for everything yeah. you do. And it's really, really annoying, because, like, it's funny, because in the marketing, they talked about how, oh... You don't have to use cover. Like, you know, oh, cover will be this optional thing. And you can still get through the game fine, but, like, you, know, you may die more. And Unless you're a really awesome Vanguard, yeah, you do. And What's it's the like, crap? I mean, like, it's, it's, I don't, it annoys me. It's a, it's practically a bare face lie. Should do the because. Well, you could be playing on casual. Yeah, actually, that, that's you know true. what? Even, even on casual, they can drop you pretty quick if you're not careful. Um, at least at lower levels. But, um,. It, yeah, I mean, that's not necessarily a thing with this game, though. That's gonna happen pretty much any time you've got regenerating health. Yeah. Yeah, um... Which they didn't have in Mass Effect 1. At least so, not by but, default, like this is. Mass Effect so 3 had a pretty good, um... Compromise, that way. And it, you still had to use... You still pretty much, like, were glued to cover most of the time. Well, not if you're and, a Vanguard. Not if you're a Vanguard. You didn't, Vanguards don't use cover in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> not very often. If you know how to, yeah, like, you can really use the Vanguard, you know. Even in Aspect 2, you don't always use it. Crap, cover, where's cover? Wish I, was standing down with. I spend, okay, fine. like, most of my time glued to a friggin' wall, and it drives me crazy. It's so binary, because you, you're sitting there waiting to... You're basically taking turns, like, you know, taking pot shots at each other, waiting for yeah. somebody who's stupid Oh, I ran out of ammo like, for my carnifex, that cover sucks. ...to take a shot, and so... Peek it's just this... Program. Yeah, it, 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 it's a game of peekaboo, and that's all the combat is. It has nothing really to offer beyond that. Like, you know, no new gimmicks, no new interesting ways to do it. Um, really, well, the only... Yeah, and the only gimmick that the game really has going for it to, to break up kind of that monotony is the powers. But yeah. even then, it's like, you know, they're all... Like, oh. they're all on cooldowns. You can only use one power, as opposed to Mass Effect 1, you can only use one power at a oh, time. Oh, um, you know, yeah, like, I do not like hot bar powers at all, so... <laughs> I did surprisingly little with biotics in Mass Effect, just because I... I, 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 I like the oh, Mass Effect combat system, just because it's the way I am. I like, I like shooters for the most part, and I like the skills, if you know how to use them, they're pretty... Right. They they work. I, I I prefer Mass Effect One's combat over two or three. It feels a lot. It feels like they reward different styles of play. I like two. I mean different styles of play. Two is okay. Um, One just it's slow and clunky sometimes. It's definitely yeah, slow. I, 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 I completely agree with you here. It is kind of it is kind of slow and clumsy and like I guess uh, kinesthetically it's you yeah know, kinesthetically it's it's, it's 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 lacking kinesthetically and it's a little clumsy but I don't in my opinion it's nothing that you know could been tuned up one problem it's with you watch Aaron sing. <laughs> hey it's an awesome that is an awesome term, term and it, I think we should use that more widely what what term 
kinesthetics. Yes. The it's just how things feel. Whatever. It's not that hard. Well, I'm just saying it kind of shows your influences just a little bit. <laughs> No, 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 but no, it, it, it's the perfect term to use here. Like, it, it, like it's... It, the, the, the combat doesn't feel, like, all that satisfying in Mass Effect 1, oh God. but it... Like, in the sense that, you know, the guns don't really feel like they have weight to them, and it is... Some things are a little sluggish, but... Uh, and in that regard, Mass Effect 2 is uh, very... It's much more tight, it's much more focused, the guns feel like they have weight behind them, like, power behind them, but... It's, I don't know, there's just too much cover-based shooter. So basically, if they made Mass Effect 2, like Mass Effect 1, um, like, it's Mass Effect 2, just take out the global cooldown, and, um, what was the other problem? Uh, regenerating health, things like that. Like, I, I like, I, and, look, one of the things was, like, you had cover, and you could use cover in Mass, in Mass Effect, but you actually weren't forced to use the cover in that game. You could actually run around out of cover, and you wouldn't necessarily die. So it kind of rewards more bravado players, and because uh, there weren't global cooldowns on powers... Uh, you could just spam powers. You could spam... Well, in the, well, in the case of uh, characters like the Adept or the Engineer, that's, yeah, you your, had power, to. your powers are all you got. See, and so that, that's, a, that's a completely different style of play right there. That's why you do Mass Effect 3. You can like just have a pistol or an SMG, and you can reload powers like really fast. That is kind of nice. I mean, I, th I do like. Really I do like. I like the weapon system in Mass Effect. It's it's a really much better than Mass Effect Two. It's a really interesting system. I don't know how I feel about it entirely within the confines of Mass Effect, considering how all the guns are supposed to like. You know, the the purpose of carrying all the guns, or, or, or like the purpose of all the guns folding in on themselves, was that soldiers could carry all all these guns for any situation. Well, you can. So well, the you, you can't do that, but it's like you know all, all this extra weight, and it's yeah. like you're wearing a power suit. Nah, I don't think it actually has like increased strength or anything like that. Yeah, like, maybe like a typical know. power suit. Oh god. So that's kind of my huge. I don't have push. Oh wait, I can cut a shot. <laughs> so yeah. Crap. Stupid. But in general, I enjoy Mass Effect Three more than Mass Effect Two. Um, most of the time I actually. Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 1 have differences, but for the most part, I would probably take Mass Effect 2, just because it feels better. You know, this building does not look all that stable. Why are we not causing damage with these rockets? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh right, we're playing a video game. <laughs> well, there have been some games with destructible environments, and... Not the main the level, level considering, look how far above the ground we are. That you should obviously be destroying. Well, yeah, but most games don't have destructible environments. It's just kind not, of not when there's space MMO, space FPSs. Like it's like <laughs> Bad Company and stuff. I've never played Bad Company. Bad Company was the first one that had a lot of it, I think. That that I know I mean, of. I'm just saying, usually games, even if you have destructible physics, they're careful not to put you in a broken down tin shack with yeah. rockets going every which way. Like if in the they, Fallout game. They can game. even make it a story thing, you know. Oh, I don't think this building will take any rockets. Let's not use it. What's really bad is when they do, and then they just ignore it later. One. Which is the kind of thing Mass Effect would do. Yeah. Rocket. Oh, I also, am awesome. Also, you kind of need the uh, gameplay team to be in the same room as the story team for five minutes. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, this is making me wish I had grenades. They're like all in the same spot. Grenade launcher! Grenade launcher! I suppose. That's what it's for! <laughs> You're yeah, sure? I, I thought it was for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually do kind of like the inclusion of the... I mean, I think it sucks that we don't have grenades that we can chuck, but I do like the inclusion of the grenade launcher because I remember looking in Mass Effect 1. If you look under grenades in your inventory in Mass Effect 1, it says grenade launcher. It's like, wait, we have a grenade launcher? and But you don't. You just throw grenades. And it's like, oh, well, this game... It's not actually... Like, oh, we haven't had one of these in a while. Like, we have a grenade launcher now, so I think I, I do think that's kind of cool. I, the heavy weapons aren't too bad. There's, I hate it when you accidentally select it, and then it takes forever to, to pull oh, out. Oh, yes, yeah. I mean, I'm... I've done that so many times in this series already. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the weapons. There are some weapons I like. I like the grenade launcher. I like the uh, the black hole gun, which was a pre-order item. 
I like the cane. I'll just use the cane. Yeah, <laughs> but it's only got like one shot. You but... could actually get it to have two, but it's with yeah. every single upgrade. Yes. It's really hard have... to do. Then you have to have, uh... Oh, that was a Like, nice you know, thing. it has to be completely loaded at all times, which is not really easy to do. I wish they would let you buy, like, heavy ammo at a store. Yeah.